Hi George. Going. It's a really pleasure to have this interview with you. Me too, man. Thanks. So the first question. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the second show of your Italian film tour. Yes, and it goes really pretty well. Okay. Uh, what do you think about the situation and the drummers in, in Italy? Italy? Um, well, I think it's one of the best crowds ever. That's for sure. Uh, second thing, I remember one time in the uh, Rockhart magazine, they voted me as the most uh, the best drummer of the year. Of the, I think it was 2007. So from that moment, I, I feel that I owe something to Italy and I really wanted to come here. I was looking for a chance. Uh, my good friend, you know, Raphael, uh, helped me with this and um, I'm finally here. I, got, I have a great time. I meet great drummers. I do also some lessons and I see some a very, very high level of drummers. And, uh, I have a great time, it's amazing. Okay. Uh, you have released the DVD, Inter Metal Drumming. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, when you decide to release this DVD? Um, <coughs> the first idea was uh, to release a drum book. But, you know, to be honest, I, um, I checked some, uh, with some uh, uh, practice routines I had. Uh, I did a test and I uploaded them for free and people could um, you know, download and practice. And I didn't have so much feedback, which I think it's the lack of education in um, metal scene, metal, uh, in metal community drums. So I was like, well, I want to do something more. So you know, I will re release a DVD so people can actually see, even if they don't know how to read, they can actually see what you do and you can explain and it's so much easier to make everybody to understand. Um, and I actually did it with uh, some um, uh, cheap cameras, and you know I didn't have professional uh, gear, but uh, it ended up really well, and the reviews are also very well. Really happy about it. Okay. Uh, can you explain me something about the songwriting of the new album of Nile? The, the latest album. The latest album. Yeah, because the, the because the other rent. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, because I, I thought because we all, uh, also started uh, writing new material for the next one. Yeah, I know. It's a little bit early. But anyway, um, we worked a lot with uh, those whom got the test uh, with Pre-Production. So that means Car or Dallas, you know, uh, they were writing a song and they, they were putting click, so they were sending me an email with guitar and click demo kind of thing. Um, and then, you know, I compose my drum parts and I have uh, a studio which uh, everything is mic'd and I can go there and make demos anytime. And, you know, just send demos back and, you know, back and forth and um, that gave us the, the opportunity to listen to the album a lot sooner than enter the studio. So we knew that this song has five strong points and one weak point, you know. So we were trying to fix everything and, uh, uh, you know, getting really into details. That was the process, and then we got back together in the States, and uh, we worked like we always do, you know, like playing rehearsals and stuff. And then, of course, we did this. Okay. I saw some videos of, from your YouTube channel mm -hmm. uh, from a clinic in Bogota. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, the feedback with the people in South America. <coughs> um, South America has one of the greatest crowds ever. I mean, maybe it's like a, a, a Latin thing, you know, like Italy and Greece, you know, we have, you know, we, we're a little bit more warm, you know, and I, I don't know, I don't know, but um, I heard many stories before I got to South America about the South American fans, and then uh, I witnessed how much crazy we are. So we did a, a free clinic, you know, free to uh, open to the crowd, and we were expecting like um, 70 people, 70 people for a clinic are too many already. Uh, it's you know it's a drum workshop so you can't really have many people, but we had 400 people, and that was one of the craziest moments in my life, definitely. Uh, thank thank God we had cameras, so you know we we take the whole thing and uh, then you know we made this small short uh, documentary which was pretty funny. But yeah, crazy people, man. Um, everybody um, everybody joined there and everybody stayed you shake your hand and you'll take a picture of a really, really nice atmosphere. Okay. When we can see night again in Italy? I heard about February. This February, 2011. 
um, the dates for this European tour with you, they're not posted yet. So I can't tell you for sure. I wish, I wish we would come though, and uh, every time we come, uh, we have great feedback. You know, we really love Italy. And I'm not saying it as a cliche, you know. Like you go somewhere, oh, we love Italy. No, we really love Italy. This is why uh, I really want to come here, even by myself, and you know, do clinics and play with you guys. Um, I heard uh, some rumors about uh, Rome for a show, but I can't really, I can't really promise you guys the dates are not on yet. For all the people that are it's interesting to buy your DVD, where they can buy it? From your website? Yeah, it's available on my website and um, it's also available for downloading uh, in uh, Hatsu Music uh, website. We actually we just did the deal uh, lately and um, I belong to Hatsu Music also, which is a great thing. Um, and it's also available in stores uh, from a music sales uh, company in the UK. So there are many places, you know. If, if you want it from me, especially, you know, then I guess the website is to be on the way, but whatever. It's a really good, um, it's a really good DVD though. I was really um, hungry to release something and I really tried to make it as good as possible. The, um, the time is like, um, like almost four hours, you know, for a DVD that's two months, you know. And this is why, probably why people appreciate it so much and, you know, it, it got so many good reviews, even with the drummer, that like four stars, like, I didn't believe it. I was like, wow, it's great. So yeah, many places to get it. Okay, you are currently working on your solo project? Yes. Not, uh, not seriously though. Okay. Um, the solo you are project... writing the, all the yeah. song with the guitar? I write guitars, so I write um, the lyrics, I'm going to sing them, I play the bass, I play keys, I play samples, you know. Uh, some percussion, um, drums, of course. Yeah. Um, this is this is a deal with my project. This is something I do for fun. Uh, I don't take it seriously, and I just having fun composing a music. A project. Yeah, but for only, you, only for fun, only for yeah, fun. Yeah. I mean, I I had offers from people saying, "Hey man, do you need a guitar? Do you need a?" I don't I don't like to tour. I don't like I don't want to. Even if even if the album is like. A great one, which you know, I don't think so. But um, if it ends up like really, really good, I will never uh, form a band and go up there because that for me is for Nile. No, Nile has all my time and all my dedication. So uh, sometimes we go back home, we got two months free. I got three guitars, four guitars, you know, basses, and I'm like, yeah, let's write some songs. It's fun. And plus, um, you write songs from the drummer's view. That means you can do anything you want, any beat you want, it, whatever you like, just, just put it there. So it's, you know, it's pretty fun. I have a great time. Okay, George. Thanks for your time. Congratulations for your queen. Thank you so, so much for your support. support. I hope if you, you want, you can say everything to all the drummers. Thank you so much, everybody, and viva Valentino Rossi. Ciao a tutti.